So, something really stupid happened. As you can see, my phone decided to die on me. But before I did that, I actually took a backup on my laptop. That didn't work. Um, so, looks like I have to wait this one out. So, this is going to take about two hours. So, let me let that do its thing. In the meantime, what can we do in two hours? Probably we can convert the new RD which came here into a CDI bike. So we won't be able to start it today because we have just bought the wiring and the wiring has not reached me yet. It is one district apart almost 60 kilometers apart from where I am right now so hopefully it would be shipped tomorrow so we'll get that tomorrow but in the meantime we can do the things in the clutch cover so that all we need to do is just plug up a couple of stuff and we'll be good to go so I'm going to use the CDI system on my RD because this RD belongs to a friend who is very close and if I don't say these good words about him he is he is going to be really pissed so he is going to see and know what happened today through this video so let's go ahead and surprise him if this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing press the bell icon and never miss an update Mr. Joe, next time before you decide to weld something like this, understand that I have an angle grinder which is this big and I cannot reach this spot that easily. So there has been a small bit of collateral damage. I know that it is going to hurt you pretty bad and, and it's going to kick your OCD all together. But this is one damage and there is a small scratch over here as well so that would always remind you of what happened today so this I will fill what I'll do is I'll apply some putty here and then I'll apply a bit of paint so he cannot see but this will be always there this is to remember never ever weld your uh, gear lever with the shaft okay so yeah so let's get back to taking apart things. So I'll put you guys on the right one again. Now Mr. Joe, we are on full commitment mode. I haven't seen a worst rat's nest in my life the wiring was simply put horrible this was a huge fire hazard I don't know how you survived for this long see this wire this is supposed to be a ground wire So nobody can actually figure out if anything goes wrong in this. This is one heck of a wiring job done by your mechanic. So yeah, appreciations to him, they are due. So it took me almost one hour to just go through all this. Okay, so today's video is the continuation of what we did last probably you will see it as one single video so what we have done is we have removed the uh, points but the points uh, flywheel and the points cam was kind of stuck so since it was not being used for a very long time so what i did is i kind of uh, bought a 
points uh, magnet puller and took it apart so now the next thing that we need to do immediately is we need to start installing the cdi back but there is one challenge even after we install the cdi this thing remains so in order to change this we'll have to open the other side cover because otherwise we cannot remove it so that is the next item to be done um, so to start with what i'll do is i'll install the cdi and then i'll do the wiring because this um this is actually a typical crow's nest so we'll take a uh, remove this and instead we will install the new uh, wiring kit which i have sourced for this bike another challenge is you can see there is a piece missing here that is the piece which holds the clutch so we'll have to do something about that um, i'm not sure whether we will do it in this video or we'll do it later but that is something which needs to be done so yeah first thing we'll do is we'll install the cdi and then change the wiring The wiring here is sort of kind of completed. All I need to do is just ground it somewhere. And then now I have to open the dome and do the rest of the wiring there. Hopefully this stupid electrician has not spliced everything. Otherwise it is going to be a long night. Plus I have to take the ignition coil from the old RD and fix it here. So let me do that as well. We have a very long way to go. They have. I should have expected this. The wiring is absolute nightmare. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect the ignition switch and see if that brings this to life. So the vehicle is done in such a way that it will start now. Uh, there is slight delay in the cable but that is not a problem. Just see how sweet it fires with both the engines. No tuning has been done yet. I have just removed the carburetors from my vehicle and put it here. So it is going to be raw.
that's a video. <laughs> I hope you like the new getup. Uh, I might look very slim because all that undergrowth is gone. Uh, the bike is running fine. I need to just put the wiring properly now. So which I'll do during the night. I'm not feeling like doing it now because I have to go outside. So yeah, that's the video. Uh, I will upload the wiring bit as well and once everything is corrected I'll uh, try to do a test right. Probably I'll do it in this video itself otherwise we'll do it in the next one. So finally uh, the RD work was done and the guy who owns the RD had come to pick it up but when we started the vehicle uh, it was not firing on one cylinder properly. Um, so initially I thought it is because it doesn't have fuel in the filters but that is not the case. We put some fuel and intermittently it was firing. So looks like some wire is either loose or disconnected. We have to check that at once that is taken care of. Uh, then you know we can make sure that the vehicle is gone <coughs> for good. So um, presently the plan was I actually changed the gear shaft and I also changed the um, the uh, CDI I converted it to CDI so that was what was achieved today the gear shaft is perfect now it is working fine we have also filled new oil in it I couldn't take that uh, <coughs> on video uh, another thing is the wiring is almost complete only three indicators need to be connected and the problem is there with the switch because this switch was an old switch which was lying here I'll try to either you know apply some WD-40 on it and see if it works if it doesn't then obviously we have to get new switches then also I have uh, now most of the wires are twisted what we need to do is we need to solder them and then um, after soldering we need to apply uh, you know shrink wrap on them and make it professionally done like this is now kicking my OCD like anything um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, hopefully complete it in the coming week if I get time or else it is going to be the weekend uh, the weekend after that is onam so um, anything which needs to be completed complete needs to be completed this week I have some spares coming for my RD from Hyderabad <coughs> uh, there is a set of uh, head studs that is coming and secondly there is uh, those crank locks I have ordered those as well um, there are a couple of more things which I need to order so right now I have not given anything for uh, you know 
uh, electroplating because especially during this onam week it is very difficult to get things on time so it doesn't make sense to go ahead and give it to them and have those things stuck there and then probably the situation is also bad so if the lockdown gets extended or ha any such thing happens then it might get stuck there so what i'll do is once that thing those shops are open properly then i'll go ahead and uh, hand it over to them so that is the video today guys um, thanks a lot for watching and uh, really appreciate you guys watching the videos however our subscription rates are low so i would really appreciate if you can subscribe and share it with your friends so that they can also subscribe um, uh, so that's about it today i'll give you a walk around of this bike and i'll also try to see if it's a minor problem if that is the case then obviously we can try to fix it right now else we'll have to call it a day and then probably you know try to attack it some time during this week all right thanks a lot for watching